Guys, I unfortunately just got off the phone with Jamal. And I'm not saying unfortunately because I was talking to him. I'm saying unfortunately because he got the results back from Texas A&M where they took Lola to get her necropsy done. You say, well, what happened to Lola? I just saw somebody comment. I heard Lola die. That can't be true. I didn't say anything. You guys heard some of it. But it's not my right to disclose, talk, or share until I have more information. What went wrong and maybe what to look out for so that this type of thing never happens again. The irony is, is, is the dog was a fighter. And, uh, you know, we, we did the abortion. So, you, you, you know, literally one of the concerns is the dog could die during the abortion. She lived through that, survived through that. Well, guess, guess, what, guess what killed her? I'll give you a few seconds to guess, and then I'll tell you. The necropsy came back, aka a dog's autopsy, and come to find out, unfortunately, she swallowed a corn cob. Corn cobs are not going to pass. Maul believes that, you know, sadly, uh, his youngest, you know, his son might have. <laughs> Not laughing, but like we, we both kind of chuckle, like, oh man, Mike did gave the dog a corn cob. And he's like, yo, he heard them on speaker to start crying. So there the thing is, Lola, um, Ice, and KK, which are the dogs that resided with Jamal, they're not what you call trash bandits. So they're not the dogs. Who are going to dig in the trash they're not you know living in the trash they have no interest in the trash uh, so they almost literally have to be given stuff and so mom's like yo we were living this thing right now because you know the old lady don't even make corn on a cob and the one time it's made the dog get ingested and we don't know what the problem is, but she's not eating. She's doing some drinking. Her temperature's fine. And then, boom, she's gone. Your dog swallows corn on the cob, people. Let me be very clear to tell you, it's not going to pass. It is not going to pass. It will cause blockage. And the body, then, if you don't get it taken care of in due time, will go into a state of what you call uh, necrosis. And the intestines will sit on each other so the doctors then have to oftentimes put fluid back in the stomach pull separate the intestinal walls cut the area where there is necrosis taking place and what that is is the intestines when they get to the place where the thing is stuck what happens is, is there's an area in the intestinal wall that turns black so you have to reattach the intestines to the area and forever your dog will have some digestive issues and i know that because of tron tron swallowed that damn toy and uh you know we had to cut it out of his stomach we didn't but the doctor did <clears throat> so that's the start of the day and now i'm going to go meet andrew over here get some tacos when we go to the blender leader we knock out two podcasts and kind of go from there but when i tell you shit They've done a good job of taking care of the dog, so we definitely want to give them, give, get them another dog, and give them another chance to be pet parents and great pet parents, to say the least. They're not the people I'm ever worried about <clears throat> when it comes to being a part of the program. They stick to the plan, <laughs> and a two-year investment in terms of time, energy, and effort. It's in this case, it's gone. Uh, on their part, you go, damn. We had just planned. For her next heat to do to do with new Frank and whoo man say I'm more sad for them uh, because they've been trying to get into the dog space and you know be around those and and uh, that that do it right so it sucks to see that that's what what uh, took their dog out so stay tuned Mom and I'll do some talking on the videos and. Probably have to speed up the process of bringing Cha Cha. Just the other day, yeah. and uh, this is just perspective. This is behind the scenes. I'll do some more because these things start messing with the money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. What up, man? Oh, 
you in shorts, man. <laughs> yeah, what do you got going on? <laughs> Handy, my man. We're going to do a couple podcasts and then we'll get into some good content. <laughs> How you doing, man? I hated you to get over there yesterday, man. Huh? We still went and had to get some of that lunch. Huh? We went and got that, some of that lunch still. You went to Haywire? Yeah. Nice. This is good. Yeah. I love that place, man. I just had too much shit popped up that I had to do. Heard. Oh, really? <laughs> That's what he just said. He's like, oh, you wear it all white to dig holes. Might as, <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. memos on my thing, on my IG. On your IG? Yeah. How's it going? Good. 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 Likewise. Uh, I was. I even tried to send you one. I was like, yo, maybe I'm tripping, bro. On oh, Instagram? Yeah. You yeah, definitely get, didn't get nothing from you. Oh, I know. Let's oh, see if I'm testing and see if you can get this voice memo. Did it say it failed or went through? Crazy man. Money. Now, people, um, oh wow, does that say 4K 30? Heck no, hold on. <laughs> so, right now, we are uh, finishing up. They are, we dug some holes, we killed it. One of the things I was talking to Jamarcus' son about is accomplishments and what it, what it means to be accomplished. These guys all work all day long. Man, so all of them work, have, have jobs, and you know, have families, fathers. Um, they're leaders in their, their child's, child's life. Hell, I think everybody brought their kid today. Mm -hmm. So, include your market. So, you look up and you say, hey, what's the trick here? What's the trick here to make sure each day feels like you're accomplishing things? If anything, for me, being a part of this kind of stuff makes me think I could do more. And I don't know if that's healthy. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> but, <laughs> because I'll be right back up in the morning, mile or two, um, and then in there hitting legs, getting a haircut. I got. I was reading for the first two hours of the day. I literally went back to the room, sat up there with the book and read all morning, and then jumped in the car. Andrew sent me a text. Hey, come meet me, get some breakfast, some lunch before we go to the blendery. We did three solid podcasts. Uh, it's just it's just been a day already. But if I'm being honest, I still don't feel like I accomplished much. So I'm like, man, could I do more? Absolutely. But you got to know when to cut it off because there's a clock running. So. Whatever you're doing, find the things that make you feel accomplished. Stick to those things uh, and figure out, figure it out. Like figure it out. Don't give up on yourself. Not yet, at least. 
Look at this, man. This is crazy. You could have never told me years ago I'd be out here working with people to uh, build a porch. This is literally a porch being built. Oh, this thing done zoom in this time of night, but it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thir almost thirteen people over there working. 